Hello, me hearties. A very good evening to you. It's just me, Scotty McClue. And we are, of course, live on the big one, TikTok. That's the one everyone's talking about. That's the one everyone is watching. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I say do come and join us because we have a lot to talk about and so little time to do it in. And it's Sunday night. Yes, indeed, nothing gets past me. Wonderful. Lovely to have you. Hello from India, says Rick happy did you do india we love you in india of course fantastic which part of india are you from do feel free to tell us because we will know it you see scotty boy did you do gravy how nice to have you with us hello scotty yes indeed scotty mcclue the world stop broadcaster the first lord of the internet and we're live on tiktok live on a sunday evening is that not beautiful from delhi Yes, indeed, we love Delhi. You'll see the Sir Edwin Lutchens buildings in Delhi. How beautiful is that? Fantastic. Lovely to have you with us, and a very, very warm welcome from me, Scotty McClue. Now then, how's the weather in Inverness today, brother? Well, I don't know, because I'm not in Inverness, but Inverness, of course, is where they speak the best English. There's the wonderful Maria Knight has joined us, and she's being very... Very, very kind as ever. She's giving me TikToks. Maria, thank you so much, my darling. But I do worry. I've been anxious about you recently because you're just so generous. Hello to the first lord of the internet, says Jazz Jat. Jazz Jat, thank you very much and welcome. Hashtag Floatai. Follow us as soon as you come on. Maria sent me 50 TikToks. Is that not beautiful? Follow us as soon as you come on, guys, because this is the big one. And we want to get everybody following. And of course, somebody volunteer to go and like the TikTok videos. Bumbly, dinky doo, brilliant, she says. Uh, hi. Hi, Callum. Hi, how are you doing? And hi, Max Jack. Lovely to have you with us as well. Hello. Hello. How are we? Hi, Scotty, says Junjun. Junjun. Good to have you with us, and welcome, Junjun. <laughs> I love all these names. <laughs> Dinky do. Welcome, welcome. Share the live and follow Scotty McClue. As Scotty McClue, the prince across the water. Ah, Kampam, you know me well, of course. The toast, absolutely. Can you give us a Dinky do to Sea Mill? We love Sea Mill. Dinky do. Haven't been down for a while, though. Need to come and see you all in Sea Mill and, of course, West Kilbride. I used to have family in West Kilbride. Let's get you back on the radio in Scotland, says Tom. Tom, thank you very, very much. That would be wonderful. Now, there we are. Share this, of course. Kyle Kamiski. If you know anybody in the radio, then do tell them. Have you heard of the Dream SNP? Uh, well, yes, I've heard of the political party. Yes, of course, everybody's heard of the SNP. Share us, of course, as soon as you can. Do you prefer East or West Kilbride? I love both Kilbrides. I remember being detailed a long, long time ago, being asked to go and work in West Kilbride, and I just checked I had the right Kilbride. Can you wish me luck for my job interview? Emma, the very, very best of luck. Just be you and you will get it. Do you like Boris Johnson? I don't know Boris Johnson. So there we are. So I couldn't give you an opinion one way or the other. I couldn't say ihi or ohi. There we are. Reinstate the House of Stuart, says Fat Spoon, and open the bear gates. Yes, you think we should open the bear gates. Gordon Jackson was in the captive heart. Uh, yes, he was, Angela. You're absolutely right. He was also the butler in upstairs downstairs. Yes, the beer gates at Trakir House. So there we are. Fantastic. Now then, hello young man. What football team do you support? Oh, I support so many football teams. It's difficult to list. I've got 15 tons of cod and 10 tons of haddock, Scotty. I'm coming round the front of the back. 
<laughs> we love it. My old erstwhile colleague, Dinky Doo. Now, hang on, guys. It looks like we've got our first troll. Yes, fish and chips. We are sending you down the swanee for being a dirty, filthy wee midden. There's fish and chips. Watch. Whoa. Woo. Remember, we are troll free on here. And anybody that comes on with any trolling, they are toast. Fantastic. Do follow us as soon as you can, guys. And come and join us. We have a lot to get through tonight. He was also cowley in the professionals. Rob, I used to love the professionals. Everybody used to go home on a Saturday night to watch the professionals. The Tales of the Unexpected, and then Parkinson, Michael Parkinson. That was Saturday night in the UK, and it was magic. We don't have anything like that at all now. Yeah, such a shame, but there we are. Where are you from? Uh, I'm from Scotland. Can I have your hat? No, I need it. <laughs> it's part of what I do. That accent, says Nicole. Thank you, Nicole. How lovely is that? Follow us as soon as you can, guys. We have a lot to get through, so little time to do it. And I'm back from this morning. Keegan, I'm very, very glad. This morning was one of the finest lives I've ever had the privilege to do. And um, if you go on to YouTube and look up First Lord of the Internet, Scotty McClue, then uh, hashtag Floatai, then you will get it there. You can actually re-watch them if you've got time on the Scotty McClue YouTube channel. How amazing is that? Give the woman your hat. I've got plenty more hats. Nice, uh, nice to see you again, says Zave the Lad. Zave the lad, dinky do zave with an X. You sound like the guy from Robin Hood. Oh, thank you very much. Whoa, whoa, says Nicole. Can I get a shout out, says Joelg. Of course, you can get a shout out, Joelg. Good evening, Scotty. Hope you're well, dinky do. Reply to me, says Illish. I've replied to you, Illish. Yes, I told you that. I've replied to you twice. Now, so we'll have less of that. Right, don't spam the English <coughs> or you'll have to go. Shout out to me. Yes, shout me out. There we are. First layered of the internet. Nice picture behind you. Are you up to no good? I'm up to a lot of good. Wonderful. You are the Lord, Scotty. Andrew, how lovely to have you with us and dinky do. Scotty, my friend, I hope you're well. Absolutely. Favourite TV show? It's got to be Dad's Army, I think, of all the TV shows. I loved the two Ronnies. I loved Morecambe and Wise. Steptoe and Son, if you're into that sort of comedy. Very, very good. Beautifully written. You should be the World Service. Angela, I suppose we are. A world service, when I think about it. The Scottish Brian Blessed areas. Shout me out. Right, Ailish, we've done that. I'm going to have to. Now, I'm going to have to ban you for spamming. So, cut it out. All right. There's Ailish not quite understanding. Now, who have we got here? Big J Dan is getting banned. Are we watching? There's Big J Dan getting a ban. Ban Dan. Oh, there he goes. Big J Dan blocked by the host. Woo! -hoo! Down the swanee with Big J. Right, that's us. Now, who have we got here? Glad you saw me again. No problem at all. Okay, Elish has got the message. Yes, indeed. Scotty, do you like mac and cheese? No, well, mac is used to be a rainproof coat that you wore, short for Macintosh. So there we are. I have a slight cheese intolerance. Now, that's that. There's 377 getting a ban. 377, seven. I'll wait doing the swanny to you. Okay, look. Watch it, guys. There you go. Woo! 377 seven down the swanny for trolling. What does dinky do mean? Dinky do means is all well with you 
and the world. Fantastic. Good evening to you, says Monkey. Evening, Monkey. Do you like Coke, says Elish. I don't do fizzy drinks, Elish. Yes, and I don't drink alcohol. Favorite country after Scotland, everywhere. Everywhere in the world. So there are, now there's BHDFS used to trolling substandard TikToks and uh, he's asking a silly question he asks every live so we shall ban him ban the troll there he goes watch this Woo! BHDFS doing the swanee there we are fantastic do you like only fools and horses oh has that another exceptional one did you like River City I love River City I wouldn't mind a wee part in River City. I think I might play a baddie. Somebody that Lenny's frightened of. <laughs> I'm enjoying a good cider here. Good for you, Kemi. Uh, yeet uh, says Abjit. There we are. Watch your pronouns. We don't do pronouns because we're far too modern. And uh, we're all inclusive on here. That's old-fashioned chat. Opinions on Beatrix Potter. We adore Beatrix Potter. Wonderful, wonderful author. Authoress. Only Fools and Horses is good. Very, very funny. I'm grandpa in it, I think. A waiter saying pet was the best show on TV. Did you like that? Kevin Whitley in it, wasn't he? Hello, Mr. Scotty, the best Scott on TikTok. J. Matthew, you're very, very kind. Hello, hello, hello. There we are. So BHDFS for asking about the superstores. An old bit of trolling that, but off he jolly well goes. Now then, you show us, Scotty, absolutely. Down the swanee. My granddad used to tell me about the Macintosh coat. They were very, very good. Yes, indeed. And you had a plastic Mac. There we are that you carried in case you got a wee bit rain. Now, there's G.R. Watty behaving very, very, very puerile. Now, G.R. Watty, I don't know if you've got any intelligence, but if you have, you would never, ever behave like that on the world's top live show. So we shall block you. There we are watching. There's G.R. Watty away doing the swanee. Scotty, thank you too. Hope you're well, my friend. Yes, indeed. Now, who have we got here? There's Nicole wanting banned. No, Nicole, why would I ban you? Do you like the Corries? I don't like the Corries, Graham. I love the Corries. Outstanding. The Rose of Allendale. Uh, you look better with a beard. I thank you very much. There's the beautiful Maria Knight being very, very, very generous to Scotty McClue. She's already given me thousands and thousands of TikToks, and now she's giving me red roses by the dozen. Thank you. Stop at 36. No. Oh, she's gone on. She's given me three dozen red roses, nearly four now. And stop. Oh, 50 red roses. So there we are. That's four dozen plus two. Fantastic. You look better with the beard. I think so. Now, there we are. Um, are you on the square, says Dr. Plumbro. I don't play any internet games. So I think I'm still ready to throw a six and start. There we are. My pronouns are unmentionable, quite right, too. Uh, can you give us a bit of G and S? Yes, well, you see, I was the captain of the pinafore in HMS Pinafore. I was King Hildebrand in Princess Ida. I was the Duke of Plaza Toro in the Gondoliers. We're called Gondolieri. <laughs> so there we are. Now, who, the swats are reamed in Tammy's noddle. Fair play, he cast more seals a bottle. <sighs> Somebody is quoting Robert Burns' Tam O'Shanta. There's a lesson for every day. St. Johnston hammered by the hips, Scotty. Oh, least said about that, easy as mended. I wouldn't shout that down the main street in Perth. 
What's your opinion on video games? Well, I don't really. I mean, I have played Fortnite once a week. FIFA clips, thank you for that. What's your favorite movie? I love your stuff. Well, we always say Where Eagles Dare. Where Eagles Dare. I should say Where Eagles Dare with the wonderful Richard Burton and Clint Eastwood. I love all my Alistair McLeans. Ice Station Zebra, Puppet in a Chain, The Guns of Navarone, Force 10 from Navarone. But um, I do think that the imitation game starring Benedict Cumberbatch as Alan Turing, the uh, man who cracked the Enigma code at Bletchley Park in the Second World War and shortened the war by two years, and the poor soul was gay, and they gave him such a dreadful life, he took his own life. Heartbreaking, but what a fabulous movie. There we are now. Uh, Burger, you never, ever, ever ask anybody that. Uncle Albert, that's it, Angela. Uncle Albert, yes, indeed. Any chance of the squeeze box before I go to work? We could probably manage something on the squeeze box for you. When do you go to work? Follow us as soon as you come on, guys. It's all very well clicking and clicking, but you need to follow Scotty McClue. Otherwise, we'll never, ever, ever get the world's top TikTok off the ground. We've been here for five weeks. Let's see. No, we're needing followers. We've got 13,000 followers. Now, that should be, oh, half a million by now. So there we go. So you're obviously not all doing your stuff, I say. Have you watched Scotty McClue but not followed him? Aha. Uh -huh. That's what we're needing to find out. Have you watched but not followed? Tut, tut, tutity, tut. There we are. I'll see if anybody's followed. Can somebody be detailed to go and like some TikTok videos as well? That would be a tremendous help. George Parker has joined us from Harrow in London and is being very, 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 very generous. Thank you, George. Follow us, guys. Come on. Hello, matey. Hello, James. Lovely to have you. Hello from Tyree, Scotty. Dinky do, Johnny. We love Tyree. Yes, indeed. No trees. <laughs> hey, hey, oh, hello, sir. How are you? Absolutely, Renja. Now, there are, what's your favorite food? Anything edible. How are you doing, great, sir? Ink, dinky do from official Adam. <coughs> That's fantastic. Nice to see you again, Scotty. Um, evening, Scotty. First social event of the year today. Many more to come. Yes, I suppose watching Scotty McClue is a very big social event. Let's not kid ourselves. So there we go. It is indeed. Just put that that way a little bit. Thank you very much. And uh, now then, Maria has sent me 50 red roses, guys. Is that not just beautiful? Follow us as soon as you come on, everybody. See if we can make a difference. Get the figures up. There's the wonderful Kareem in Glasgow has sent me a TikTok in a red rose. Kareem, you are so generous. Thank you very much. And another TikTok. So there we are. Are you a fan of Liz Miz? Oh, yes. Oh, yes, a fan. Incredible, wonderful stuff. Brilliant, thanks. Thank you, Jonesy. There we are. I can't. What can't you do? You do anything you put your mind to. Uh, no. Now, what have we got here? Who's the most famous person you've met? Oh, Rob. I've met so many. I was showing somebody this picture earlier. I don't know if you've ever seen that before. There we are, Prince Charles. And just behind him there, Scotty McClure. Isn't that beautiful? Fantastic. So there we are. But uh, so many famous people, you know. Um, I would not be so base as to say some of them I uh, am friends with to this day. Here I am. I'm the guy from Holland. Hiya. Come into house. Wiltshire Cooper Tee Heben. I'm wearing mine klompen. Fantastic. We love you in Holland. Now, there we are. Follow us as soon as you come on. Have you seen The Quiet Man? What a film. Susie Babe, you'll not get a much quieter man than Scotty McClue. Do you know the poem, The Twa Corbis, says Fat Spoon? As I was walking all alone, I heard Twa Corbis, Macadamine, the teen and tea the tither say, 
Fit shall we gang and dine the day. I wot behind yon old fain dyke, there lies a new slain knight. You can pick at his ee, and we are locker his guiding here. We'll seek your nest when it grows bare. Is that right? Was it something like that? The Twa Corbis. I haven't had a look at it for almost 55 years. How did Lord Reith get his name? After Lord Reith of the BBC, Angela, Lord Reith, John Reith was from Glasgow. And he went to Glasgow Academy, which I think still has the Reith building. And um, in 1922, he started the BBC. He was knighted at the age of 37. Wonderful man. And uh, Churchill was very jealous of him and wouldn't give him proper jobs after the Second World War. And he did not like Churchill, you know. And I've met his daughter. He was a, a terrible husband and father, Lord Reith, but he was a wonderful, wonderful man, an incredible industrialist. So there you go. But his family did have a tough time with him. There we are. <coughs> <clears throat> Pardon me. Now, um, X decorate. No, I do not know at all. So there we are. So I couldn't tell you. Uh, dinky do, mate. Hope you have a nice evening, says Peter. Thank you, Peter. And you, La. There we are. Squeeze box. Yes. Yes, Graham. We'll get the squeeze box. Scotty, when's the radio station back on? I don't know. I love this, says Peter. I used to listen to you on Scott FM. Scott FM was Scotland's finest radio hour ever. Right, here we are. Squeeze box for this gentleman, because he's going to his work. Would you like a tune on the squeeze box? Follow me and let me know. Yes, indeed, get typing. And I'll give you a tune on the squeeze box. Who have we got here? Now, what have we got? Right, X decorate. What I'm going to do is just ban you for spamming. Yeah, because you're a, you're a dafty. There we are. That's him gone. Right. Silly idiot. Spamming and spamming and spamming and spamming. You're fed up. I've told people not to spam, but they still do. How's the weekend been, Scotty? Outstanding weekend. I've done a few lives this weekend. So there we are. Right. Are we ready? Here we go. <clears throat> for you. How amazing is that? Anybody recognize it? Let me know. Good evening, Scotty, my boy. How the devil are you? Hello from Summerston, Scotty. We love Summerston, Luke. Dinky do. The helicopter and where Eagles Dare was invented after the war. Ah, Rob, very, very interesting. Yes, indeed. What was it? Was that a skitter? Uh, hi, Scotty. How are you tonight? From Kareem. Kareem, we are wonderful tonight. This is an amazing live. Quite fantastic, I say. There we go. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Thank you for sending me all these TikToks. I'm here again. Dinky do. Lovely to have you with us. Now, yeehaw. Fantastic. What have we got here? 
Hello, Dinky Do. Brilliant, Scotty. Thank you, Johnny Boy. Go on, lad. Such beautiful music. Wholesome content. Is that a photo of you behind you? Yes, indeed. Absolutely. I'll leave it with you for a second. I'm just going to grab something here. I'll be back in a sec. Don't dash off. Don't you be dashing off now. Oh, yes. Fantastic. Now then. Ah. Oh, there we are. We're back. Dinky do. Excellent stuff. Now, fantastic. Lovely, lovely, lovely. I have mental health issues, Scotty. Uh, don't worry about that, Peter. Uh, think this, right? It doesn't come from a weakness. It comes from being strong for far too long. That's what it's all about, I can tell you. I love the sound of the squeeze box. I sit and listen to play that all day. Maria Knight, you're such a beautiful person. You're back. My question is, are you for the UK or for independence? Well, everybody is for independence. There was never, ever, ever, ever a case for the Union. There is still no de facto case for the Union. The Union was forced upon the Scots. And it was forced upon the Scots by Queen Anne. And Westminster has done nothing but rob Scotland blind for 313 years. So that needs to stop. There we are. It needs to stop. Uh, hello. So I'm not political, but I am economic. And as long as we can keep our own money, then we can discuss with Westminster what we're doing. Can you play Flower of Scotland, the squeeze box? Yes, I can, Susie. But I wouldn't want to get hit by a copyright strike, you see. These tunes I play you are very old traditional tunes. There's not a problem with them. I think it could be our honorary granddad. I thank you, Tegan. Where in Scotland are you? In the West Coast. Valen, Valens, Felix, thank you so much for your kind gift. Um, there, guys, you've been so generous to Scotty McClue. It's incredible. Thank you. Thank you for your beautiful gifts. Scotty, what's the books behind you? These, Johnny Boy, I don't know. Oh, these are, these are reference books. Yes, absolutely. Reference books. A lot of them. Yes, indeed. A lot of who's who and all that kind of stuff. My English is improving. Freak, your English is beautiful. Well done. So there we go. Now, what have we got here? Got no resources to go independent. Ryan, are you, are you completely round the twist, dear boy? Have you been, have somebody stuffed your head with nonsense? Scotland supplies the resources to the UK. Scotland gives Westminster £75 billion a year and gets back about £28 billion. So what do you mean no resources? We have wind and wave power and water and oil and food, barley, wheat, corn, Rapeseed, all these things, yes. The oil on top of that, of course, all our exports, farming, fish, the whole lot, all gets marked down to exports from Westminster, do you see? So the figures don't come to Scotland. Very, very interesting. So get that right out your head, Ryan. Got no resources to go independent. Thoughts on Aberdeen? Have you ever worked there, Rob? Yes, I spent a... Uh, a year and a half in Aberdeen. Loved every second of it. Fantastic. Fat light. I'm from Africa. Stephen, we're all from Africa. Yes, we all originated in Africa. We were all black at one point, And the pigmentation got lighter as we moved away from the absolute heat of the sun. Lucky, dinky-doo, you okay? I am indeed. I've come to claim the right. Yes, indeed, David. What right are you claiming? You're very symmetrical, sir. I am. I thank you very much. That's very, very kind of you. Why are you doing this? I'm doing this because it makes people smile. And uh, during the news, we had a terrific problem. And what we had to do was look at the news and say, that news is so depressing. Yes, so depressing. So what we did about it is, uh, wait, we get this. I don't know who's coming. 
Oh, that doesn't work. Wonderful stuff. Somebody calling the golden shot. And so why am I doing this? The news was so depressing. And what we thought we would do was make people smile. And we've done that. Half a million people have watched Scotty McClue live. So let's get some more followers and likes, please. I don't think that's too much to ask for everybody. When about 490,000 people have not bothered following. Now that's not very nice, is it? <laughs> no Scotland, no party, absolutely. No monarchy, no independence. Follow us, guys. Yes, indeed, as soon as you possibly can. Lovely to have you. Who sent me a finger heart? Isn't that beautiful? Maria, thank you so much. The McDougalls own Scottish land. Well, you can never own anything you see. The McDougalls own land round about Oban. The Galley of Lorne, that was the McDougalls. It was up to you, would Scotland leave the UK? Oh, definitely, yes. But I mean, not leave the UK, just come out financially. Yes, just withdraw its money from the UK. Now, what have we got? Yes, indeed. Uh, boats and dinghies. Yes, indeed, Tyler, very much so. Dinky-doo. The Enterprise and the GP14. It would be a much poorer country if we went independent. Now, Ryan, who has stuffed your head with this nonsense, right? As long as we're going independent under the monarchy, under the crown, the Queen is our head of state, yes? So we have that. Uh, it wouldn't be a poorer country at all. It would be £75 billion a year better off. Well, 45 billion once you take uh, the Barnet formula out of it. So where are you getting it would be a poorer country? Where are you getting that from? Come on, Ryan. Cough. Can you sing me a song? I can always sing your song. Correct, says Chris. Yes, indeed. Always correct, McClure. You'll always get the facts. Uh, so there we are. My friend Charlie was a big fan. She's upset about it, but sorry if this sounded mean. Elin, I don't know what you're talking about. Thoughts in Dundee, we love it. Evening, Scotty, have you been on long? Uh, since about nine o'clock, I think, so half an hour. Just over half an hour. I love your videos, says Elin. Dinky do, Elin. Dinky do, Scotty, from Nairn. Now, Nairn is the fastest town in Scotland. Nairn, Nairn. That's how everybody speaks in Nairn. Where are you from? From Nairn. Now, there's letters. Now, letters is very puerile and very simple and very unsure what they've joined. So we'll ban them just now. There's letters away down the Swanee. Wonderful. I'm a big fan. Can you say my name, please? No, in fact, I don't like your name because it sounds like a very unpleasant name. So I'm going to ban you. There we go. There we go. You're not such a big fan now. Tell you that. Right. Who have we got here? Follow us as soon as you can. Tequila says, I love you. Thank you very much. Do follow. Very, very important. My name is William Wallace. Correct. Rule Britannia and God Save the Queen. Absolutely cringe. But that doesn't mean that we don't go independent. We can be independent and Rule Britannia, God Save the Queen. Uh, Rule Britannia is a Scottish song written by a Scot. Hello from Wisconsin. Hello, Wisconsin. Morning, the Duke of Dundee. To support Northern Irish independence. Now, that's an interesting one, Henry. So you're talking about the six counties going independent. Just the six counties just becoming the six counties and being a, an independent country. How very interesting. Yes, how would you finance yourselves? We know how Scotland would do it, but how would Northern Ireland do it? Do tell. Spill the beans. Very important. Oh. Ah. I'm not saying you couldn't. I'm just saying, how would you go about it? Should I head for Scotland in my camper van for my holidays? Scotty boy, if the, um, if the, the situation with the pandemic allows it, by all means, I think you would adore it. There we are. Can you say my name, please? No, I cannot say your name. It would be shocking. 
Do you remember from Tyler, some boy? Yes, I do. Please do not sing, says Logan. Yes, you can't with COVID, Logan, quite right. As a Scottish Indian, I am against Scottish independence. Any reason, and Jules, do tell us why. Very interesting. Uh, we're always interested. Now then, who have we got here? Instead of telling TikTok that I'm not interested, I have to block all your accounts. No, Uga, you don't have to bother at all. You just don't watch. You say happy birthday to my daughter, Emma. Of course I can, Jimmy Dinky Doo. Hello from the United States, says Chris. Lovely to have you with us from the United States. From the politics, channels, and resources at hand, Rule Britannia. Yes, indeed. Independence for Scotland and Rule Britannia. Not a problem at all. No independence for Scotland. Cringe, why would you want that? Because you're going to be poorer off. Remember? Remember you've been kept down by um, being stuck with Westminster. What's up, pal? Mon the Scots. So there we are. There's Lukey Pukey. Now, Lukey Pukey, I don't think you're old enough for this, so we're going to send you away. There's a wee guy that can't control himself, so we'll send him away. Doon the swanee. There he goes. There's Lukey Pookie away doing the swanee. <laughs> Scotty, how are you doing? Dinky do. Yes, indeed, Ron. Very, very well, indeed. Fantastic. Uh, so there we are. Now we. Meldausha. Nein, ich deutsche sprechen. Ich bin ein Ausländer. Nicht verstehen. Hello from Kenya. Hello, Kenya. Jumbo, Jumbo, Kenya. Welcome from Nairobi or Mombasa. Cheers from Canada. So, thank you. How are you going to pay to survive without the EU and the UK? Well, the UK we've never ever needed. Yes, the EU we will rejoin. I think it's as simple as that. Just phone them up and they'll be delighted. Hello from Norway. No way. Now, there's an independent country that does very well. It's about the same size as Scotland, isn't it? Have you um, popped out today? Yes, I went out for the messages. Kevin, no problem at all. What we'll do, though? I'll just pop you down the swan here as well for being an idiot. There's Kevin away, guys. Uh, thank you for sharing the live video. So there we are. Now, Cringer, you still haven't told us what you don't understand about independence. Shortland can't survive without the UK. Who's told you that, Cringe? Who's filled your head with all that rubbish? Another one down the Swanee, dinky do. I love it, Alan. They've got to go. They know the rules. They shouldn't cheek up to my clue. Uh, Kitty, dinky do. It's not that simple. You can't join the EU again. That will not work. How not? Come on, cringe. Spit it out. Give us the last detail. Chapter and verse. Yes. Hi from Newcastle. We love you in Newcastle. They are now Newcastle. I'll tell you what it's like to struggle for a living. Greetings from Dauschland. Dauschland, you were our partners, our allies, and our dear friends in the EU. Together we controlled 30% of the world's top trading bloc. Now we have nothing, just so that some rich people didn't have to pay their tax. Independence is coming, says Addy. Yes, indeed, Addy. Hi, from Shetland, says Zander. Dinky do Zander, are you? Where are you in Shetland? Are you at Lerwick? Are you at the Solemn Vaux? Uh, where are you from? I am from Scotland. It used to be said the education system in Scotland was number one in the world. Why is it in decline? Oh, huge variety of reasons. Huge variety of reasons it's in decline. There we are. But uh, it also is still the best in the world. No doubt about that. Have a look at other ones. Dinky Doo from Texas. Hi from South Africa. Hi, I'm from Fife. Dinky Doo, Amy. Lovely to have you with us from Fife. Hello from Lerwick. Dinky Doo, I'm from Birmingham. Birmingham. Lovely to have you with us, Bradley from Brum. Bradley from Brum. Wonderful, wonderful stuff. Now, how's the time? Oh, my goodness, would you look at the time? It just flies when you're enjoying yourself, doesn't it? Has anybody liked the videos, guys? 
Has anybody followed us? We need followers, please. Hello from Elgin. I love Elgin, John. Thank you, do. Have you got the money up on the pole just outside the superstore? Uh, I've been raised in some very low-income places in England. And I can't imagine what it must be like for you. Quite right, Hope. Yes, indeed. There we go. It's very, very tough. But we're a lot better off than we were 100 years ago. I can tell you that for nothing. Dinky-doo, follow us as soon as you can, guys. We're very, very short on followers. Right? Everybody follows Scotty McClue. Tell your friends to follow Scotty McClue. We're going to build this for you. I love the Scottish people. Do you go live at the same time every day? Not really, Mum. We do. We've done a few lives over the weekend, but usually it's around something like nine o'clock at night. That's the stuff, or even sometimes five in the evening. There we are. Follow us as soon as you come on, as soon as you possibly can. I am Scottish European. We're all Scottish European. None of the Scots wanted to leave Europe. They knew it was a con. Scots are not daft, you know. I'll say to my friends, I'm in Lerwick. I was on your live this morning. Xander, tell everybody in Lerwick that this is the way you guys access the world. And Shetlanders are very smart people. Da forty fiddlers. Up the Liverpool, they finished third. Fantastic. Yes, indeed. Ali Bean, of course, from Shetland. Wonderful man. I I know Ali. Lovely, lovely guy. And a Peary Willie that used to play with Ali. Violet Tullach. Wonderful, wonderful accompanist. Yes, indeed. Uh, I'm a huge fan. Can you say hi? Willie Hunter, the fiddler from Shetland as well. Up Hellia. Up Hellia. Thanks very much, Scotty. Dinky do. Uh, I'm pretty dumb. Xander, never, ever, ever, ever call yourself dumb. Nobody who watches Scotty McClure who hasn't been banned for trolling is dumb. Everybody on here is brilliant. Do you know any of the boating people from Larwick? No, I don't, not nowadays. But lovely, lovely people, the fishermen. Get the boats in. What's the, uh, what's the letters for the fishing boat in Larwick? Is it LK? Happening, dinky do KD. Remember you're watching Scotty McClue and we're live internationally. Fantastic. Uh, hello, Scotty. Hello, how are you getting on? Lester missed the chance. Good morning from Greenland, says Barr. Fantastic. Thoughts on the Duke of Sutherland statue above Gospe? Should it be kept? Um, I don't know. I've. It's very impressive on a summer's evening. I remember staying in Gospe, and you could have a game of golf during the night because it never got dark. And I think of... Neath the shadow of Ben Braggy or Golspie's Lonely Bay, Granny's Hill and Hame, and the Duke is up on the hillside, some size of a statue. I don't know, where would you put him? I know he wasn't popular because of the clearances, but we don't want to debunk history. You see, it's good to explain to the young people. So... <sighs> Would he actually do more good by staying exactly where he is? And then you can tell people all about it. There we are. Lovely. Don Robin Castle, of course. Very, very beautiful house. Scotty, how are you this evening? So stare. Thank you, do stare. Now, stare, you'll be getting your education. I've just been asked about the Highland clearances. Now, that makes Ireland's history look like a walk in the park. So there we are. There's a skinhead has just come on called Melted Salami the Skinhead. Sing for us, dinky do. No, I can't because of COVID. Because it means you're singing out all the particles, you see. There we are. Now, Dave, you need to go and grow up. Communism, says Josh. Well, good luck with that, Josh. I hope you enjoy yourself. What do you think about Scotland and the Euros? Well, Scotland is just fabulous, whatever it does. I have my exams now. I'm scared. Never, ever, ever be scared. You will be absolutely outstanding. Go for it. Uh, now, what have we got here? UVF. Hmm. 
No, we don't know that one. <laughs> That's tonight's riddle. My Scottish favourite, Dinky Doo Geo Dog. Lovely to have you with us and welcome, 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 I say. If you're in your own home, you can sing as you're singing to the internet. Yeah, but you're still putting out particles onto the screen, do you know what I mean? And people might touch the screen. That sort of idea. England will beat Scotland at football. Well, there's a first time for everything, isn't there? I always say... There we go. It's not necessarily the winning, it's the taking part. We know that. Guys, I'm very, very short on followers and likes. I think a lot of you are just taking it for granted that you don't go and like. Please do, because it helps me to build this. Yes. Scotty, it's Bill from Michigan. How's your day, Bill? We love you in Michigan. What's your honest opinion about Martin McGuinness? Martin was quite a tough cookie, but I think as he got to know the Queen, uh, you know, I think he started to learn a lot about uh, about Britain and that sort of thing. You know what I mean? But uh, you know, he was he was a clever man, Martin. There's no doubt about it. But uh, very edgy. Uh, all these people need to make sure they don't ever have any heat. That's the most important thing. You have to get rid of heat. Heat is the most useless thing you could ever, ever have. Uh, Scotty, I've liked every one of your video videos. Susie, baby, you're so kind. There we are. Very clever man, says La Hoop. Yes, he was. He was. Martin was clever. And Jerry's a very clever man as well. And Ian Paisley was a very, very clever man. He was just a bit tough to negotiate with. But he came round in the end. Do you drink Iron Brew? I do. Iron Brew and Scotty McClue were two of Scotland's top brands. What about that? Dinky do. Fantastic. I'm not just an athlete, you know. Scotty McClue, very big. Time for a drink of tea. Love your accent. Do you play golf? Never played golf in my life. Done a bit of caddying. You're a very clever man, says Susie Babe. Susie Babe, you're so kind. Bevilze has just sent me two pandas. This cup is bigger than my head. Amazing, look. <laughs> Oh, that's absolutely lush. Fantastic. How do you take your tea, Scotty? Just the tea bag popped in. Leave it in for a couple of minutes. Then a big splash of milk. And that's it. You are goddess, sir. I thank you, Bradley. You're very kind. A magnificent cup. It's a belter, isn't it? I'm Scottish. We are elite. Well, I don't know. You see, I don't see anyone as elite. I've never, ever gone for the elitist thing. Obviously, I adore the royal family, but they are not elitist. They are the curators of the crown. You're a knowledgeable man. I'll give you that, Scotty. You too, La Hoop. Yes, I had to tell you one or two things about Ireland, but you're a very clever boy. Now, what does Dinky Do mean? Dinky Do means is all well with you and the world. That's the important thing. Scotty, did you like Sydney Divine singing Maggie? I loved Sydney. I've interviewed Sydney and I've been in a couple of things with him. And of course, he was a DJ at one of the Scottish radio stations. Campbellton Loch, I wish you were whiskey. There we are. Now, Campbellton Loch, that tune is actually my own march past. It's known as the Glenderool Highlanders. My family came from a place called Glenderool. Isn't that wonderful? The Glenderool Highlanders. I still disagree with some of the things you say about Ireland. That's like, well, you will disagree, but you can't disagree with the facts, Lahoub. What you mean is you don't like me telling you the truth. Were you in any TV programs or films? Stacks of them, Ryan. Yes, if you look up Scotty McClure, you'll get it. Do you speak on the radio? Yes, I speak on the radio for 36 years. Yes, and did 29 years of the late night phone-ins, three hours a night, quarter of a million people a half hour. 
Uh, so there we are, fantastic. 35 radio stations across the United Kingdom. Do you wear a kilt? I do. <coughs> Scotty, I'm not having a good day. I thought I'd pop in here and get cheered up. U.S. Navy SEAL, you are the man. You are da man. We send you love to the SEALs. And thank you for doing what you have to do when you have to do it. My mum's favorite singer was Patsy Cline. Oh, Susie, we love Patsy Cline. Is she not? I'm crazy. <clears throat> Patsy Klein. Scotty, could you play Killy Cranky on the squeeze box? I would need to practice it. I can't just play you anything, I don't think. Uh, but, uh, but I could try it for you. United Ireland? I don't know, Aaron. There are two schools of thought there. One is for United Ireland and the other is not for a United Ireland. So Ireland's already united. You're only missing six counties. So Ireland, Ulster is part of Ireland because Ulster is, is it eight or nine counties. What do you think about Oliver Cromwell? An absolute shocker. A man who should have been very, very, very ashamed of himself. Very bad. He has deposed the king. And we had to get the king back because we can't do without a monarchy. Try it. Try Killy Cranky. <coughs> You're terrible. If I get this wrong, it's your fault. <coughs> <coughs> Something like that. <clears throat> I would need to practice it, I have to say. Lang me your lum re. Now, who have we got here? I have to go now, Scotty. Bye. Bye, Bradley. Take care. Scotty, I'm from Antrim. Antrim's a very nationalist. Mostly everyone I know in the north. Yeah, but that's the people you know. What about all the people you don't know? Because when Prince Charles visited his great-uncle David, Edward VIII, who had been an outstanding Prince of Wales, and he said to Prince Charles, he said, do be careful of the hardened Ulstermen. Very difficult to move them. You see, and they've been used to divide and rule. It's as simple as that. So that's everyone you know, but that's not everyone. You see, that's like me saying everyone I know voted Labour, but Boris got in. So what about all the people I didn't know who voted Tory? Do you see what I'm saying to you? <laughs> Ryan, thank you very much. What unity? Stair, what are you talking about? You've had 100 years of peace in the Republic. 100 years. What are you moaning about? You know what I'm saying? Fantastic. Now... Two weeks ago, you defended the British Army in Ballymurphy. No, that's a lie, Adrian, and well, you know it. I never defended the British Army in Ballymurphy. I said, referred you to the report. What's the views after the report? The views are just the same. You know, I mean, it was one of those tragedies that shouldn't have happened. But, you know, when you look at the whole thing, and I think there's been an apology <clears throat> since you raised it. So you need to be very careful what you say. You're saying two weeks ago, you def I didn't defend them at all. Yeah, I didn't defend them. I was just explaining. I don't take sides. I explain what's going on. Yes, absolutely. 
Now there we are, well said, it came to all who fought for Ireland. So there we are, the Brits couldn't stay put. <clears throat> no, but you see, you're calling them the Brits. There's no such thing as the Brits, yeah? The Irish crown was part of the Union. Yes, indeed. So there we have it. The sweat's lashing out of me, so it is, my goodness me. That's all that squeeze box play. <laughs> Oh, oh, my goodness me. Very hot work. Very, very tough, you know, TikToking live. There we are. Does that look better? Um, yes, indeed. So there we are. And here's Izo. He's sending love from Jesus. Thank you. There we are. Spot on, my friends, is Lahoub. Well, Lahoub and Stair, you're going to sit going spot on, but you've got to think big picture. And both of you are a little bit stuck eh, when it comes to that, I have to tell you. Prince Charles doesn't seem as popular as the rest of the royals. No, Prince Charles is a very, very, very popular man, very clever man and a very nice man. So there you are, I can tell you. I've been all over the north and drink always gets people take, talking to the pubs. Of course it does stare. The Irish are known as having very loose tongues. So there we are. Now, who have we got? <clears throat> there hasn't been much of an apology, Scotty. No, but there was an apology. Like Boris apologized last week, if I'm not uh, much mistaken. Uh, how disgraceful it took 40 years for an apology. Well, you see, have we had an apology for Lord Mountbatten yet? Now, that's 42 years ago. And we haven't had an apology, you see. Have we had an apology from Omar? Have we had an apology about Inneskillen? Have we had an apology about the Pitchfork murders? You know, have we had apologies for all these things? So you need to be careful about banding about, you know, sauce for the goose and sauce for the gander. So it's pretty disgraceful. It's to, There's been no apology for Lord Mountbatten. You know, that was the end of the IRA. On you go, Scotty. So there you are, dinky do, my man. Yes, indeed. Scotty, you're so cool. I come to Michigan, USA. I'll take you fishing in our famous Great Lakes mixed. I think that would be gorgeous. What's the main purpose of those who's who's? Do they still make them? Yes, they do indeed, Rob. Yes, of course. And uh, it's uh, got lists and lists of people for cross-referencing. When I'm talking to people, I do my research, you see. What goes on in Wales? Why don't we hear about Wales? Does it even exist? Well, I think the Welsh don't have chips on their shoulders because they've sung it all out in the valleys. Wonderful people, the Welsh. Long live Scotty McClure. Uh, what would you do if you turned into a bug overnight? I would uh, go in search of a leaf for some food. And have a talk in. Scotty, of course we're going to be biased. We share the same opinion, as do you. I share a similar opinion with yourselves, yes, on lots of things, but you shouldn't be biased. You need to see the other person's point of view. Yes, you need to see the other person's point of view. And you also need to remember the soldiers are sent in by the politicians. We can't have the politicians hiding behind the troops. Do you like Samuel Johnston? Uh, so there you are. Yes, I do, Dr. Johnston. I know his house in Litchfield, uh, just north of Birmingham, Samuel Johnston, Dr. Johnston's house. Johnston and Boswell and their Highland tour. Yes, and Fingal's Cave. If you're going to start playing this game, we could go on all night, Scotty LaHoop. I don't play games. I just tell you. Yeah, I don't play games. There's no game about that, I can tell you. How are you tonight? I am outstandingly fabulous, Ryan. There we are. Uh, somebody says IRA is still around. No, you've got a few thugs around. Yes, a few thugs. Yes, they apologize for Omar as well as the pitchfork. They were very up straight. Right, I'll have a look into that stair and see just how fulsome the apology was. We never had an apology for the Birmingham Four. No, there's another one. There we are. Now, Vilchko, you need to go because you know not to spam. 
There we are. And you know, that's not funny. I'm Welsh. I'm living in Larwick. Oh, you're living in Larwick from Wales. Yakida. I say to you, the wonderful, beautiful Maria Knight has sent me five lollipops. Maria, you are such a gorgeous person. I love the Scottish broadsword. Yes, indeed. A bit dangerous. It could take your head off. There we are. That's what I mean. I do not hate the soldiers. It's the politicians. But the UVF and TANS, they went. Uh, yes, absolutely. They were a bit over the top. No doubt about that, about their own ways. Yes, they did. Well, the Tans, you see, I'm not sure that the Tans were actually people of integrity because the problem with them, I think some of them had come out of the slammer and they couldn't get the uniforms from them, hence the black police trousers and the khaki army tunics. The black and Tans. Dinky do, Mr. McClure. They were thugs. They were thugs. Uh, so there we are. The people in Larwick don't get out much. Well, you haven't because of the pandemic. But now that Scotty McClue's in Larwick, life will just open up big style. Tell all the all the Shetlanders. Say, Da Scotty McClue is talking to Da Shetlanders. Can you say hi to my wee cousin Jamie? The Tans were a group of criminals who were sent over to cause anarchy. I think you probably got that right, La Hoop. And uh, we would certainly apologize for the Tans. Uh, the broadsword and the basket sword, the same thing. No, not at all, Josh. <coughs> the broadsword is the big two-handed claymore. That's your broadsword. Your basket, officer's basket hilted sword is a personal sword, more of for saber fighting. Yes, more of a saber. Are you still doing your radio show? Um, not at the moment. I finished last year, but I'm very, very impressed with uh, what we've got here. Fantastic. Now, guys, we're out of time. I'm going to have to dash. Thank you for watching tonight. I hope you've enjoyed every second of it. I've loved being with you. You're very, very beautiful people. Every single one of you. Don't be too hard on the wee trolls because they're just wee souls who don't understand quality. Right, Maria, thank you for sending me these beautiful good nights. R.I.P. the Duke of Edinburgh. Yes, indeed. Right, guys, are we ready? I'll sing you the song. Goodbye, everybody, goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody. Auf Wiedersehen. Au revoir and a cheery oh. Dinky do, my loves. Take great care of you. There's somebody saying, are you a Tory? No, I'm apolitical. I don't support any party at all. Good night. God bless. And ta-ra-las. Dinky do.